All right, it has come down to this. The final part of the Insanity Far Cry 6 DLC. Uh, every two months, they're going to release one of these, by the way. I do like a, I guess, a review at the end of this as well, if you want to stick around for that. I just kind of talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, Roguelike experiences in a Far Cry game is not something I ever imagined. Especially after the three DLCs we got in Far Cry 5 were the Vietnam thing, which is cool. It was like a movie. Uh, the Mars thing was insanely good. Then, like, they had, like, the zombie movie posters, like, the director post. I don't know what it was. It's like a Left 4 Dead type experience. So, I thought this was better than all three of those. Uh, and this is only the first of the three. So, really excited for the rest of this. If you enjoyed this, just throw that like button. I love you all. And uh, let's get it, guys. I want to jump off the side, but I don't have... I guess maybe we just go out this way. Let me get this. Yeah, it's saying to go back this way. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is the right way, though. Oh, look at his mind. I see his mind now. Oh, no. Do the screen around the edges. Okay. If I die at the last bit of this, I'm going to be so upset. I got a long way to go, too. Uh. Okay. Isn't there like a zip line over here on the left? I can't remember. Your mind is collapsing. Okay. Getting caught in the destruction will kill you. Move fast and bring all the pieces back to the compound. Okay. I mean, I'm trying. I guess what do you I want really from me? Falling apart, huh? I hope you're ready, Steve Rogers. I'm coming. Hey, it's right there. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna run. I got plenty of help. Oh my god. I'm out of here. I mean, it's right there. I can't imagine I just instantly fall over and die. A screen doesn't look as crazy either, so. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen with this, but I'm kind of excited that I was able to at least. First, well, not first try. My first try, I died. But, like, second go at it, I, you know, was able to get it done. Okay, time to end this fucking nightmare. Oh, final challenge. Make sure to use it. Oh, no. What kind of final challenge are we talking about? Final challenge, huh? Well, we're going to get some more health. Because that's what we do here. Um, let me go open a lot of these chests really quick. Because that'll give me max ammo. I already have max everything else. I'll read all that stuff later on. There's more up here, I think. You know what I just realized? What if the final challenge is a boss fight in this area? And I just used all my stuff. Oh, this is very, very good, Reed. Very, very good. Oh, no. Here it goes, man. I'm nervous. Look at my health, though. Give me the knife. Claim your birthright. Become my warrior. Here, you know where to shove it. Now get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> you thought that was enough? No. Fight for me. Show me how strong you really are. Ah, oh, I knew it, you motherfucker, Voss, you dumb fuck! Let's go! What? Oh my god. Ah, Vas, finally survive. Claim your birthright. Show me you can be my warrior. Alright, survive the onslaught. Got you. At least I got 18 of those uh, things done. Big fucking giant 
Citro. Call my therapist. I mean, Fitch is surviving the onslaught. Really going for the turret already? Let's see how it is. I hope you are ready. No, I like to be surprised. <laughs> I mean, if this is surviving five waves of enemies, I, I feel like pretty confident right now with my with my health and everything. But I don't feel like this is everything. Yeah, yeah. You know. Keep fighting. Keep fighting for me. Oh my God! Fuck, you ever heard of Less is more. Let me make a warrior out of you, like you always wanted. Here they come. Waiting for it. Red's over there. I see him. I mean, are we supposed to just push? Oh, wow. Man, without this turret, I would have been... I've been kind of scared, not gonna lie. Yo, this turret, I mean, this is the play right here. I'm not trying to run out there and get KO'd, you know? I'm assuming I should just save the rest of this. Uh, let me do this because I did accidentally use a syringe. Um, sell that, which doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, that was a whole wave right there. Interesting. Only the strong survive, boss. Nope. Well, I'm still here, ain't I? Got 208 bullets. I feel like if each round has a boss. I will give you the power you desire. I will give you everything. Man, if each DLC is gonna be like this, I'm kinda like pumped because. everything. Maybe every other round has a boss. Oh, I just realized something. Yo, look at my ammo when I get a headshot. It's 230 or 236 right now. I got that perk that I just equipped. Whenever I get a headshot, it like re refunds or something like that. I don't know. That's actually sick. Nothing is going to back me down. No one is gonna change my mind! Nothing will put fear in my heart! Nothing! That yeah, entire yeah. way that worked Keep is amazing. Fighting. Keep fighting for me! I only Fuck want to help you. you. To love you for who you are. To worship the man you have become. Because if you think about it, this is supposed to run out of ammo. But the perk I have keeps giving me the refund, you know? Getting closer. They're like really close. Come on! You two, you piece of fuck! Let's go! That's not good. Oh no. Please don't kill me. Yeah, I don't know if it's kills or headshots or... I think it's headshots, which I need to clearly get to keep this momentum going. Oh my god. Oh no. Kind of pepper spray him a little bit. I think it's one, one more guy. Oh, let's see. Final round coming up, so. Not today. Really? What? Why are you so difficult? Hold on. There you go. Okay. You are so sell everything. Fucking dead. What? Oh, it's the same button. Oh my God. That's actually crazy. Use a syringe, but it's also the selling icon. Let them fall at your feet. 
Here it goes, man. That's a lot of lightning. Yeah, 228 right now. I'm almost out of bullets too. I gotta be careful. No, thank you. Let me get off this hill up. Yeah, I think the weapon sway is like intentional. You know? Like this right here is absolutely crazy on controller. Like I've played a lot of shooters and none of them feel as bad as that. Oh, He's dead now. You see the <laughs> thing about me, Citra, is I don't give a fuck if you kill me. It is cool that they did do this, you know? No matter what comes of this. I don't even know how the reviews for this are, by the way. I'm actually probably like the last person on YouTube to upload this. Um what we got here? Nice. We're not done yet. Hold on. I don't like some weapon sway to end it. We're not done yet. Don't you dare leave me, boss. You need oh, we're getting out of here. You need to fight for me. Forever. Fight further for higher score. Hell no. We're out of here. We getting out, baby. Don't leave me. I made it. But I might be able to achieve maybe a higher level of enlightenment if I go back for more. You know what? I'm just excited I beat this. Not even going to lie. We actually... Let's go ahead and get this uh, credits going quickly. In case there's like an after credits scene. So, here's what I was going to say. Overall, this DLC was nice. It's one of three. Now, the replayability, I'm sure there's other stuff I can get. But I got, I think I got 18 out of 18 on those like memory things. Uh, whatever they're technically called in this. Everything else was good though. Now, the story was insane. It's, I mean, it's insanity for a reason, so... I don't know what's going to happen with uh, the other two now. I, I, I do think it's funny, though. You'll have these unique settings for three and four, right? And then when you go to play as the father, you're just going to be in, what, like, Colorado or something. I don't forgot where the game takes place. But um, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for all the likes and support you dropped on this. I had a lot of fun. I was kind of nervous. I will say this, though. I did the hardest of the, as far as getting all three of the, uh, I guess all three of the pieces of the Dragon Blade or whatever, I did, I think, a weird order. I feel like that boss fight with her in the beginning was rough, mainly because I didn't have much health. Now, those health upgrades weren't just a little bit. They increase your health a lot. Um... So I am very... I'm just going to hit skip. See what happens. We did finish it, so... I don't know if we get, like, special items or what. You know, okay. That's good. Locations completed. 9 out of 20. Now, I didn't do some of the other stuff. Hold at least 8,000 cash at one. Okay, so to get those other things, you have to do this. Collect all those. You get that. Okay. So there is re replayability is, is part of it. Escaping. Okay, for more points. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So win streak is one. So I'm guessing it's meant to be replayable over and over. At the end, I could have kept farming for maybe more more points. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it again right now, but maybe down the road I definitely might. Let's save and quit and see what happens. 
That's probably it, though. Yep, that's it. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Rewards, one out of six. Mine levels completed, one out of five. Mine levels. What is... Enemy strength. Okay. So, there's nothing different. It's just a harder difficulty. Interesting. So, you keep playing and it gets more and more and more difficult. So, interesting. I don't know. That's different. I mean, I'm glad I got it. I got a lot of the story bits. We got to kind of see, you know, some visions and everything like that. I mean, it was it was definitely nice. And also seeing, you know, just all the stuff from Far Cry 3 kind of be brought back is pretty insane. So, um, a lot of the stuff, it felt like that one area where they mentioned, like, PT, that's, not, that's the second time I've seen that. And I don't know if there... That's got to be either like a hint or a nod. I don't think Ubisoft would make a horror game. But if they did, I feel like they could probably pull it off, you know? I, I just think that they did a great job with this. I mean, the fact that it's got replayability, unlike some of the other ones, like the previous DLCs. Now, I still think one of the best DLCs we ever got for any Far Cry game... I mean, I'm looking at it right now and I'm like... Far Cry 5, the Mars thing was very exceptionally well done. I thought the Vietnam thing was kind of cheap. It wasn't really, it didn't really feel like, it's kind of like tacked on, kind of quickly rushed. The Mars thing was different though. I really liked it. It was like a whole new set of abilities. Everything was different. You could tell they put time into it. And then the last one for that was like the zombie movie. It's like the horror movie posters or something like that. And you do like these different levels. Kind of like a Left 4 Dead type thing. Uh, but it, I didn't really play it that much. I felt like once I played it and beat it on my channel, I'm pretty sure I did that. I, I did all the DLCs for that game. Far Cry New Dawn didn't have any. Uh, Far Cry 4 had the Yeti. I remember that. That was actually really good. Far Cry 3, I mean, you know, I, I think out of all the Far Cries, I think the one I'm most curious about how they're going to do it is the father. Because this was based off the area, right? The fact that we might get a chance to return to kind of see, like, what maybe happened with the father. Because you didn't get this, like, they had him again in New New Dawn. But there was, like, that dead period between 5 and that game where you didn't, you don't know what happened, you know. So, I'm really interested to kind of see what they do with that. Now, this character, I, I have to play Far Cry 4 again. I might watch, like, some stuff on this character because I don't quite remember the story for 4. That's how long ago I played it. Three was just iconic, so I remember like Voss and everything, like the whole thing with that. But I just felt like Jason Brody in this, really awesome that they brought him back. Voss, I mean, everybody involved. It just, it, they did a great job with it. So, um, anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for just joining me on this. I'm happy I was able to finish this. I was really, really nervous that I wouldn't get a chance to actually finish it. Because once I saw that I can't pause it, I was just like, I had the same vibe that when I saw Returnal. And I remember the first time I died in that game, I was just like, okay. And then I turned my PlayStation off one time just to test it. Okay, I got to replay the whole game again. But obviously, there's there's points where you can reload. But for this one, there's no points of like reintroduction. If not, you get to keep some guns and stuff. But if you die in this, you got to do the whole thing again. And I think it's like the replayability is there. I think it definitely is. Uh, but anyways, that's it. Thought it was really good. I was, I was just happy to be able to finish for you guys. If the other two are roguelike, I'll just have to be prepared and go for health first. I don't know what's going to happen. So, anyways, that's it. You guys are amazing. All the support. Greatly appreciated. If, uh, I guess if this does well, definitely expect me to play. I want to see really quick. Let me, you know what, while we're here, I usually don't like searching on my phone while I'm, you know, checking this out. All right, let's see. Far Cry 6. Uh... I guess roadmap, DLC roadmap. It actually auto filled. Interesting. I'm gonna look at images because I don't. It seems like it's usually the, the best thing. Okay. Uh, season pass has DLC one, Insanity, full game of Far Cry three, Blood Dragon. Oh, that's actually being brought in here. Then Control, then Collapse. Okay, that doesn't tell me dates or anything. I was trying to see like when these pop up. Yeah, I don't see any dates. I did read it was like next year, though. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I, I'm looking and I don't see. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Uh, November 2021, Voss Insanity. Okay, that's that's correct. Uh, episode two, uh, January 2022. Okay, so January is pretty slow. So that's perfect. That'll be right there in the middle of it. My guess is around the middle of the month. Uh, so what? About a two month delay between each one. So about 60 days. Every 60 days, you you, you get that. So you get the uh, November, January, then March. That's when all three release. I don't know about Blood Dragon. We'll see about that. Anyways, that's it. You guys are amazing. I thought this was really good. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.